The top of the plant, the parts that get the most light, they get a second chemical that creates in them um, through the photosynthesis process that redirects her energy toward the stuff with more light. So in this plant, this is break. That was a pretty rough break. But now if I take the top off, what's gonna happen? Yeah, the other branches are gonna come out. That's topping. Um, here, this branch, now I have two tops here and here. I might be tempted. Woo, that was too hard to break. This is a pretty sticky plant. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. I, I might be. Yeah, I might be tempted to lower it by doing it like this, and now I have two tops. Well, actually, I have one, two, three, four tops. But by doing it like this, suddenly I get more tops in the space. I might be tempted to strip off the lower branches. Well, what I normally do, I just go ahead and top it off, and then I, I find three, three to four branches and add to the all the other branches. And everything else will try to catch up. You would strip off the lower ones, so you're just left with this. And now, all the energy will be concentrated. So you lollipop the, now I'm looking for fire ants everywhere. Yeah, you lollipop like, yeah. the bottom, so it concentrates the effort into the branches, and you top the top, so that can't go anywhere. And if you came back in two weeks, this plant would be much wider, and this plant would be much taller. You can see the side branching starting over here. On this plant over here, you can see the side branching starting. So on this one, oh man, you got to break the inner herd. You got to warm it up. This is the Indian. Hey, come burn. here. Come here. There's fire ants. Come here. Nope. It's just too stocky. When you look at this, you can see that there's a hole in the middle and then holes around it. Right. That's how the stuff goes up and down. The xylem yeah. in the... The what? The xylem in the... Yeah, the xylem in the flow. Yeah. <laughs> I can take this top out and all these side branches are going to come out now. You can see that the sickest leaves are at the bottom because that's always where the problems start at the bottom. So you strip this down and now you can see the canopy is from here to here and it's nice and healthy. These branches will come out now. If you were in a scrog, you might, you might do this and all these branches will turn up now. If you look at just this part of the plant, you can see it's not getting what it needs down here, so you'd strip it. That's, that was your big problem. That's your lollipop, right? Yeah, that's lollipopping. Get rid of that bottom stuff. You don't want it. Right. right. This is where the problems come from. Two so, weeks into flowering, I take it off. I'll leave it there for the first two weeks. But you can see now that your canopy is kind of unwieldy. So you might very well take the top off of it. Now you have a canopy that's a little more under control. This is still higher than this, but this will catch up here, and suddenly all this will be the same height. This branch will come up, this branch will come up. In fact, there's so many branches like that, you may want to do this, and now your whole canopy is almost the same height. All This branch is the lowest, this one, and these two are now in the middle. Yeah. Which is hard. Chop, chop, but chop, chop, unless, chop, unless. Why does it work? Because it grows fast. <laughs> That's a grower. That's a grower. <laughs> now you look at this and you can see. Cut, you just and everybody loves that big giant cola. Yeah, but you can still get all those colas. That one big two butter. Would you rather have? It's so much easier to clean. And now you can see the shape of this one plant right here. It's even. What's in the middle, now that we've stripped this, we can take it down to here. And now what's in the middle are all of these tops and a two-foot canopy. These two small ones in the middle here will quickly catch up. And all of a sudden, you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six tops. Now, clearly, 
you should have flowered earlier, right? You should have quit vegging because you could see how long the stick is. But if you just had a plant that looked like this in a container, you could see nice tops. You could run them out into a scrog, into the trellis. This one will be the same height, this big one on the outside will be the same height as one on the inside. And the inside one will start to go faster and this it'll catch up to this one. This one will come up. So if you want this to grow even faster in the middle, you just take the top part, get rid of the rest, and now that one has nowhere to grow except up. That's lollipopping. This is lollipopping. And now you have even more on its way up and this one can turn up now as well. So you've got these tops. Now you've got about two feet worth of canopy. In two weeks these will catch up. You may or may not keep that one but this one would probably go into a center square. This one would come out. This one would be further out. You might take another plant and put a branch in this space from another bucket but they're all kind of far apart. So this is like a well-groomed, if it was in a bucket, this would be fairly well manageable. Um, not the best example, but I think you get a pretty good idea for it.